because uh, there is no idea for me that there is a time frame component. I don't see any evidence, even if I stipulate to his assertions, that he has a good faith belief that someone in that home is in danger. He has uh, assumptions, he has hunches, but uh, the, the evidence is far too tenuous in this case for me to allow the extension of the case law uh, and the precedent it would set when it comes to warrantless entry into homes. So as a result, uh, I am going to find in favor of the plaintiff in general. Now, here's what I will say. First, uh, this is a very narrowly decided case. This is not Captain Wrangler acting in some outrageous sense of uh, extreme bad faith. Do I think he's like some rampart cop just kicking in every door? No. Uh, do I think yes. that he made a bad... Next person who says a word gets contempt. Uh, do I think that there was a judgment call here made that was an improper application of the case law and shows maybe a little too aggressive uh, assumption uh, and, you know, assertions being made? Yes. Um, so let's go to Fingal Dan. Uh, Fingal Dan's not an officer. He, uh, you know, is not in a position to be sued for violating someone's civil rights. Uh, if you wanted to try to get charges pressed against him for trespassing or, you know, breaking and entering, uh, you need to find an officer to do so on top of that. Um, he did so at the behest of Captain Wrangler. So for the purpose of this case, I'm pretty much lumping everything into Wrangler's autonomy and decision-making. I don't think a financial decision against Fingal Dan has any deterrent uh, to it, any any value at all. Uh, so I'm not issuing any claims against Fingal Dan. I am finding in favor of the plaintiff against Captain Wrangler. I think he did violate uh, the principles of the Fourth Amendment in entering the home, uh, I don't believe that this equates to such an outrageous breach or there was any damage proven. So on a purely sense of the civil violation of the rights, I will issue a $20,000 verdict against Captain Wrangler per the stipulations of the legislation surrounding verdicts against police officers. 10000 will be paid by Wrangler within, uh, I believe it's two weeks in the uh, legislation, and the other 10000 will be paid uh, by the PBSO. That is the verdict of this case. I will stick around and talk about it after. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Craig. You're great. Kyle, Kyle, Kyle. All right, let's go run traffic at Mirror Park. Don't say a word, Jacob. Don't say a word. <laughs> Are you? <sighs> yeah, Your Honor, um, I'm representing Stanley and... Am I free to go yet, man? man. Just He's been in custody for like five hours. He was in custody for five hours. Wrangler's acting in bad faith. He he was brought here to testify in a court case, which would have otherwise be uh, delayed and continued. It was Wrangler on my instruction that he was brought here. He's not acting Maybe. in bad faith. He was acting my instruction. No, 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 I'm not talking.